What's up? This is a supplemental video to my original Voltcraft VC90 review. Uh, I've had people send me messages and then today I had someone comment on the video and say, could you, um, you know, hook it up to a bench power supply and then see what the current draw is and then, you know, so we can figure out what the battery life uh, would be. And uh, it's a great idea. I should have done it in the first place, just forgot and then never got around to doing it. So I figured uh, I would just go ahead and knock this out while it's fresh on the mind. So, uh, so it's in voltage measuring, main, voltage measuring range and I have it connected to my 10 volt reference and it's reading 10 volts on the dot, which is good. And then just to show you, it's being powered from my bench supply. Now, if you saw the review, you know that it's got some mechanisms in here that'll, that basically keep you from being able to pl plug uh, your leads in whenever the cover's off. So I had to get a couple screwdrivers and push down on these tabs to be able to get the probes in. So basically, I circumvented the safety system on here to be able to, to uh, turn it on like this without the uh, back battery cover on it. So made it a little tricky, but... Uh, still not a problem. Now, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Uh, the multimeter is on, and obviously, being OLED, uh, there's no need for a backlight because the pixels light themselves up. And uh, so right now, it's it's on and being used, and it's drawing 31 milliamps. So that. It's pretty good. Now, granted, that's that's the uh, the amp meter on the screen of my bench power supply, and those aren't always super duper accurate. Uh, we'll actually hook it up to uh, a second multimeter to to see what the current draw really is, but uh, this sh still should be a pretty close ballpark, and uh, that's not too terribly bad. Now, uh, I guess what we'll do now is just wind the wick down, and then we'll see uh, what point uh, the battery indicator comes on, and then if at any point um, if, uh, the reading starts to go out of whack, and then if, also, if at any point, um, it shuts itself off, or if it starts giving you false readings before it shuts itself off, or whatnot, so, let me get over to the 100 millivolt range here, and I'm just gonna start turning it down, so it's 8.9, 8, 8.6, 8.7, Eight point zero. So it looks like eight volts even is when you lose the first segment on the little battery meter in the corner. And really, I should probably. There we go. Move it closer so you can get a better view. And down to seven point eight. Seven point six. 7.5, 7.3, so it looks like I lost another segment or two, I haven't really been paying attention, but still giving a solid reading, so that's good. Down to 6.6 .6 volts now, 6.5. Okay, so 6.7, I went back up, it shows one segment. 6.6 .6 still shows one segment. 6.5 volts, uh, it, it shows the little battery meter is empty. But it didn't beep or give any kind of warning on the screen, so we're going to keep going down and see what happens. 6.4. I mean, it's still reading right on the dot, though, so that's good. 6.3. 6.2. 6.3. I thought I saw it said bat in the cor bottom corner, but maybe I'm seeing things. So I'm going to go back up to 7, 6, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6.5, 6.4, 6.3, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, 6.3, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.4, 6.
It looks like the reading is settling. Yeah, so it looks like uh, they designed it decently well to where it, uh, first off, uses a, a pretty good uh, a pretty good amount of energy out of the battery and gives you a nice stable reading all the way down until it shuts itself off. So that's pretty good. And the battery meter, from what I could tell, looked like it was uh, doing a decent job of telling you what the the actual uh, capacity is. Now I wish, I don't, there's plenty of room between it and the, and the zero on the bar graph at the bottom. I don't know why they didn't make the battery meter a little wider so then we get a little better uh, not even it didn't it doesn't even have to be resolution just a bigger battery meter to look at because it's so stubby it's kind of hard to tell you know if you're at half or if you're at two-thirds or one-third it's kind of hard to tell uh, where it's at but either way it's, at least it's got a battery indicating meter some meters don't have anything like that all you get is just a low battery warning and some of those really cheap ones don't even do that they'll just shut off and the even worse ones will start to give you bad readings before they uh, shut themselves off so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. It's it's at 5.8 volts and it is still running and still giving us uh, a reading that is very 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 close to being dead on. So yeah, no complaints there. So I guess now I will head to my computer and then pull up some discharge uh, charts for just a standard 9 volt battery and then I guess I could do the math and try to estimate what the uh, the battery life would be. But actually, before I do that, let's. How about I hook this up to um, another multimeter, so that way we have a, uh, a better idea of what the current consumption is, uh, so we're not relying on my bench power supply, because for all we know, that might not be quite as accurate. Probably won't really matter, but... Okay, so I got it hooked up through my Agilent uh, multimeter here, which it's going to need to be charged pretty soon. I, I swear I use this thing five minutes at a time, maybe three or four times before it has to be charged again. It's terrible. Um, so anyway, it's actually reading really close to what the bench power supply is saying. Bench power supply right now is just 32 amp, milliamps, and um, this is reading 31.3, so it's pretty close. It's within a milliamp, so... Uh, with that information, we should now be able to... Uh, get a, a really rough idea of uh, what kind of battery life we can get out of this since we now know the cutoff voltage and we know the current draw um, so the current draw will get us a rough estimate of because batteries will give you a different amount of capacity depending on how quick or how how much or how little current you're drawing from it the more current you draw from it the less capacity you'll end up getting out of the whole thing and so if you pull up a battery data sheet um, usually you can you can find information on that they'll kind of give you a couple rough ideas of you know low medium and high current draw and what uh, capacity you can expect from it and then obviously we can uh, divide it by our act the, the actual current draw of our meter and then um, we'll also be able to figure out how long it'll go in standby mode if you well I, I guess that's really not important that's really important if you just forgot to turn it off and most people probably notice before they would leave it sitting somewhere for a long period of time but Either way, we'll have the information and we'll be able to do the math. So I think what I'm going to do now is just leave this sitting here for a little while, uh, wait for auto power off to kick on, and then uh, we will take a look and see what the current draw is whenever it goes into auto power off mode. And hopefully it is, um, hopefully it's really low. Okay, so <laughs> I wasted a lot of time. I forgot that this has a menu system and I uh, just looked up the manual and it said five minutes, but that's just what it comes from the factory. I had changed it to 30 minutes auto power off. So yeah, it was like 15 minutes later, I realized that I'd probably changed it and then I set it to five minutes, but now it's off and it is drawing 28 microamps. So uh, that's actually pretty good. 28 microamps is uh, acceptable. So yeah, I guess now it is time to, uh, well, time for me to go uh, do some do some uh, research, get a data sheet for just a regular 9 volt, like an Energizer or Duracell or something, and uh, give you a rough estimate of how long this will probably go on a, on a fresh battery. Okay, so I pulled up some data sheets. Uh, if it's just a standard 9 volt battery, an alkaline one, like just an, a regular Energizer, Duracell, or Rayovac, uh, you'll, you'll probably get about 20 hours uh, of screen on time of actually using it. And if you get 
one of what I'm using, one of these, the uh, Energizer Advanced Lithium. Uh, it'll go a little bit longer. It'll do about 30 hours. So uh, it beats the living hell out of what this will do on one charge by huge orders of magnitude. But uh, compared to, you know, like just a regular old fluke or something, it does have a considerably shorter battery life. But uh, 30 hours for me on one of these batteries, which I have a drawer full of, um, that's actually not that bad. Um, I mean, I would imagine that would last me, well, I mean, it's, it's hard to just guesstimate, but I would think that that probably last me a year, but, uh, yeah, hopefully that was informational and helpful to anyone wanting to know, uh, what your, uh, battery life is going to look on this and what the current consumption is and what the behavior is whenever you get the voltage down to, uh, near the cutoff voltage and it appears to, uh, handle everything correctly. Um, you have a bar graph that actually shows you you know, it's estimated capacity, and then um, once it's completely empty, it'll still go for a little while, but uh, it gives you a nice, accurate measurement all the way until it shuts itself off, so uh, that's pretty good. I have still no complaints, major complaints about this uh, multimeter. It's a pretty good unit, especially uh, now that I upgraded the uh, the probe to the Volt, or not Volt, <laughs> to the uh, Probe Master probes. Uh, it's definitely an excellent little unit, especially for the price. Um, it's got some stiff competition in that price range, but I don't know. It's it's pretty good bang for the buck. But anyway, I could, I could blabber on and nerd out about this, but since I got everything covered that I think I needed to cover in this video, um, I think I'll call it there. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Bye.